perfect. Okay. So guys, I guess we'll kind of get started here. And if anyone else kind of trickles in, I'll just make sure that they can join. Um, so what we're going to be talking today is about our Seniors in Motion program. So just a little bit about me though first. My name is Kate and I have my BSc in Human Kinetics. I'm also a personal trainer and kinesiologist here at Channel in Motion. I primarily work with clients in clinical conditioning and strength training, as well as in our hydrotherapy school for one-on-one specialized treatment. Uh, today we're going to be going through this amazing program and we created this to help older adults in our community age in place. So here at Trend Health Emotion, we are always striving to help members of our community reach their goals. And I think someone, sorry, someone still might have their microphone on because we're getting a little bit of feedback here. Um, oh yeah, if you don't mind commuting. Perfect, that's better. <laughs> uh, we are super fortunate to have an amazing facility at Trent University. We are located in the Athletic Center. And here's where we're gonna be holding our Seniors in Motion program. We are gonna enjoy the beautiful view overlooking the Trent Severn River as we work out. And for some of you, you kind of already see it right behind me today in this presentation. So this is where we're gonna be doing all of our exercises. So these beautiful smiling people are our team here at Trent Health in Motion. You're actually gonna to get to know a few of them over the year, or sorry, not over the years, over the program. We are hoping to continue this program for the years to come as well. If you ever want to reach out for one-on-one -on -one treatment though, feel free to call the clinic because we're always here. So what we bring to the table. We have a variety of services here at Trend Health Emotion and this includes chiropractic care. We have pelvic floor physiotherapy, physiotherapy, hydrotherapy, athletic therapy, massage, sports medicine, clinical conditioning, and dietary services. So with all of the services that we offer, we realize that we have an amazing potential here to help members of our community with a more of a multidisciplinary approach to help the multi. So over the last two and a half years, we have been more sedentary and distant than ever before. Uh, so because of this, we noticed that there is quite a gap in resources especially for older adults. So this is where we kind of came up with this program. We decided to design a comprehensive exercise and education program for seniors that look at health milestones, good gut health, activity levels, we're going to look at mental health, and just overall enjoyment. Uh, so for this program, is it's an excellent opportunity for you to receive support that is not only free, but we're going to be kind of really working towards Health, health, um, healthy aging and remaining independent. Oh, sorry, we just got some more people who are joining here. I'm just gonna quickly let them in. Hi for everyone who's just joining now. We've kind of started the program. Uh, just chatting a little bit here. If you don't mind just turning off your mic, that would be fantastic. So what I was just kind of saying is we're running a six week comprehensive exercise program. Um, and we are going to be looking at activity levels, um, mental health, overall enjoyment, just to help us all stay healthy and active. So we all know that aging is a natural part of life. And the only thing is inactivity and health conditions can actually exacerbate these uh, characteristics, such as decreased muscle mass, decreased bone mass, uh, there's an increase in visceral fat, as well as just total fat. We have poor metabolic processes and a decrease in cardiovascular input or output, sorry. But hope is not lost. The studies have shown that low impact resistant exercise. Oh, we still have people trickling in here. Sorry, guys. Uh, so we have found that low impact resistant exercise and moderate lifestyle and can slow down some of these characteristics and actually in some cases they can improve the characteristics of aging. So this is what we're hoping to look at through this program. Another highlighted point that we're going to be frequently touching on throughout this program is fall prevention. So this is going to look at both training and awareness. So regular physical activity, activity 
can reduce risks of falling by 30% in older adults. And not to mention, it's also gonna improve your strength, endurance, and flexibility. So now we're gonna to touch a little bit more on the presentation itself. So based on the gaps that we've identified, we have created this comprehensive program to help older members of our community. So we're gonna be taking 20 participants and they're gonna be joining us on campus twice a week for six weeks. Uh, we're hoping to start on July 5th and we're gonna be breaking into two small groups. So we're gonna have a schedule A and we're gonna have a schedule B. So this is just to allow a little bit more mingling so we can kind of grow together and make some friendships along the way in our smaller cohorts. Not to mention, uh, just with COVID preventative, we are trying to still keep us relatively small, smaller groups. Oh, shit. So everything that you're gonna receive throughout this program. So people who are gonna be participating in this, this is what we can expect. We're gonna have an initial assessment so this is our first day on July 5th. We are gonna be running through some functional movements such and recording uh, data such as heart rate, blood pressure, uh, functional movements. We're gonna be looking at grip strength, uh, lower limb endurance, balance, things like that. We are then gonna compare our initial recording to our final assessment. So this way we can kind of expect to see an improvement in strength, endurance, and overall quality of life is what we're hoping to see uh, for those who participate in the six week program. And then you're also gonna receive three hydrotherapy appointments. So that's gonna be with me, it's super amazing. Um, we're also gonna have a chair yoga class with our pelvic floor physiotherapist, Rihanna. So that's exciting. We have four exercise classes as well. This is gonna be on land and again, led by me. And this is gonna be low impact exercises. Where we're really focusing on strength. We are then going to have two workshops. So one with our dietitian, oh, right. discussing healthy and affordable meal options, and then we're going to touch a little bit on diabetes as well. And then during this presentation, we're actually all going to have a meal together as well. So we are going to be having a healthy meal that's local. Um, and at this time, when she's giving the presentation, we get to munch and enjoy. And then our second workshop is going to be on fall prevention. So again, like I mentioned, we're going to be touching on this throughout the program. So we're going to have an occupational therapist come in and give a presentation, again, on awareness and training around fall prevention, and then basically just how to stay independent and live in our homes safely. So on top of all of this, because already sounds fantastic, we are going to be having custom t-shirts made. So then when we're working out together, we can all be a team and have the same shirt as we kind of work out and progress along the six weeks. And then not to mention, we just get to have fun, fun with friends. So it sounds awesome, I'm super excited. And then, so this is what our schedule A looks like. Like I mentioned, we're gonna be breaking off into two groups of 10 people. Um, we're gonna be meeting every Tuesday and Thursday starting on July 5th. There is a sneaky Monday though. I don't know if everyone can see here. On Monday, July 11th, we're gonna be meeting for our um, dietitian our lunch and learn, and that's the only Monday. Everything else will either be on a Tuesday and a Thursday. And don't worry about writing all of this down because we're gonna be emailing you with these dates. So this is schedule B, it looks very similar. All the dates are the exact same. So we're meeting that Tuesday, Thursday, there's that one little sneaky Monday in there on July 11th. Um, but what's actually gonna change is the times and the activities will slightly vary for those two groups. So we're on one day, um, group A, let's say, will be doing um, hydrotherapy. Group B on that same day, will be, will be doing an exercise class. So we're just gonna kind of alternate between like that throughout the program. So I just wanted to touch a little bit, uh, go a little bit more in depth on what we're gonna be doing. So for the group exercise classes, we are gonna be having four of these classes where we're gonna meet up to work on low impact strengthening and resistance training exercises that are gonna help focus on our balance and endurance. So here is where we're gonna be wearing our team workout shirts. Um, and I just wanna make sure that everyone who's gonna be participating will come with running shoes and lots of water. Uh, you will get a little sweaty, it is part of it. So I just wanna make sure that we're replenishing those fluids as we go. And then of course, I will always leave time at the end 
for a stretching component where we're gonna kind of cool down, focus more on that flexibility and range of motion at the end of our group exercise classes. Next, I wanted to just touch a little bit of the lunch and learn. So Michelle is our dietitian and she's gonna be providing us with that educational presentation on healthy eating. So she is gonna have a little bit of emphasis on diabetes prevention and management as well. So while we're listening to her presentation, this is my favorite part, we're gonna enjoy a healthy and local meal. So this is kind of just trying to see if we can kind of all come together after these crazy two and a half years. And this is gonna be held at the Student Center workspace at Trent University. And of course, just like today, there will be a time after the presentation for any questions as well. So time to make a splash. So we will be working in our hydrotherapy pool as well. This is my favorite place. I love being in here. The benefits that we have seen with our clients in the pool is incredible. So studies have shown that hydrotherapy tr treatment is extremely helpful in training to improve muscular strength balance and cardiovascular fitness. The aquatic environment is safe and effective for rehabilitation purposes. And here is where we're gonna be pairing off. So we're gonna have two people in the pool at once. I will be joining you as well, so three in total. And we're gonna be in there for half an hour. So make sure you're bringing your bathing suit, you want not, not your birthday suit or anything like that. When we're in the pool too, we're gonna to have we're going to be in the pool, sorry, two times for this program at the Trent University. But I said we're doing three hydrotherapy. So for the last one for our pool assessment, we're going to be actually going over to the Wellness Center on Braley Drive. So here we're going to be on July 26. We're going to have Group A start in the pool around 11 o'clock for 30 minutes. And then they're going to, Group A will move over into a classroom or we're gonna have Allison, who is our occupational therapist. She's gonna give the presentation on fall prevention. And then group B will arrive at 11.45 at the Wellness Center. We're gonna go into the pool together for group B. And then after we're gonna switch over to the, to the classroom again. So then after that, so pool first, then the presentation. We're gonna provide light snacks. So then when you're done in the pool, you're not too, too hungry before you have um, lunch. And then please note that if it's, if it's possible to arrive a little bit early, because you are going to be wanting to get into your bathing suit. So this applies for the hydrotherapy sessions that are going to be at Trent University as well. Uh, just to give yourself a little bit of time. And don't worry, there's going to be lots of time after the pool between the presentation to get dressed as well and all ready to move over to have the presentation. So next that we're going to touch on is our yoga session. So Rihanna, is, she works here at Trent Health and Motion, and she is our pelvic health physiotherapist. She's also a yoga instructor. So she's going to be one, the one running the yoga session. We're really going to focus on flexibility and range of motion. So this is going to happen on July 19th. So I hope all of that sounds fantastic. This is what you're gonna be getting if you participate in the program. But what we're hoping when we're providing this, we do need a little bit from you as well. So in order to participate in this program, we will need you to complete some intake forms and questionnaires for us, just to give us a brief um, medical history for yourself, consent to forms and consent to having your photo taken. Um, we are gonna be um, partnering up with the Trent University, the Aging and Society program. So they're going to help us collect some of the data and just to see if this multidisciplinary program is beneficial. So we want to, we already assume that we can just um, see some effects and some effective movement as we go through this program, but we want to just see if this is actually, if we can prove this. So we do need people, if possible, to commit to the entire program. Um, and we will have opportunities too, so if you are able to just help clean down any of the equipment that we're gonna use at the end, that'd be really helpful just to kind of help volunteer a little bit of time at the end. Uh, so this is kind of what we need from you in order to participate in this program. And then, so um, we're gonna open up the floor soon just to ask any questions, but I wanna make sure that after this presentation, we're going to be sending out an email in the next hour or two 
and this is going to have this presentation just in case you need to watch it again or you want any more information. It's also going to have an intake form though. So in this intake form, it's going to go over availability as well as eligibility. So we are going to be running this program as first come first serve for the first 20 participants. We will make sure to kind of go through and see if everyone is eligible, but that's kind of how we are going to decide. So please take a moment and respond to the email and open up the intake form. You don't have to like email us back. Once you hit submit, we will be able to see it. Um, so yeah, if you don't mind doing that, and then it's going to go through a series of questions and then it's going to ask you for your t-shirt size at the end. So hopefully we can have those ready by the start date. And uh, we are hoping to let participants know by the end of this week who's going to be joining us for it. But don't worry, um, if you're not selected this time, we are hoping to run this program in the years to come. So this is not a one talk, like a one time thing. We are hoping to continue this and to have hopefully more participants able to join us. So this, don't, don't give up hope. Um, and I do wanna to mention too that we are always here. So even if you are wanting to, um, to see us one-on-one, -on -one, we at the clinic, you can always give us a call and, and book in, that's totally fine. But just for those who are wanting to join us for this comprehensive program, hope is not lost. You will be put on a wait list. Um, yeah, so we are hoping to be running this in the years to come, so don't worry. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's pretty much, I just wanted to go through a quick little um, overview of the program and what's to be expected and kind of what we need from you. So I really thank everyone for, for joining me today. And I'm just gonna open up the, the questions here. So I will see if I can kind of stop sharing here. And then we can kind of just see everyone, let me see. Of course, now it's not working. Hi, can you guys hear me? Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you oh, doing? Gosh. I'm doing good. The program sounds amazing. <clears throat> I love that. That makes me so happy. <laughs> and I used to be a, a, a worked at Trent. Really? Oh, that's a that's so cool. Yes. So I'm quite familiar <laughs> with the pool and aqua fitness and things like that. So I'm pretty excited. So I hope I get do get in. <laughs> Perfect. And you know what? That's actually, I feel like half, I'm still trying to figure out where everything is on trend. So half the battle right there is no <laughs> critical. <laughs> like once you're here, it's all easy. Oh, yes, I know. <laughs> well, oh, fantastic. I um, oh, I'm just seeing here. I don't think feedback is. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. How do you ask a question? Like how to. Do you push a button or something? You can you can just take the floor here, Dawson, if you have a question. Oh, oh okay. Yes, I, I'm impressed with uh, the, the organization and the ideas behind it, and uh, certainly would like to participate. I just wonder, uh, each day that you go, um, it starts at a certain time, ends at a certain time. What's the time involved here? Are we likely to start at? 11 and finish at 12 or something like that? That's exactly it, yes. So what it's gonna depend on which schedule you would be in. Uh, so like, let's say schedule A, for example, we're gonna be meeting at 1.30 and be done at 2.30. So it's gonna, each thing will be about an hour long, except okay. for one, one day. So July 26th is the only day that it's gonna be a little bit longer of a commitment because we're doing two things. So yeah, the, that's the wellness center one. Yes, yes, that's yeah. exactly it. So we're going to be sure. having you in the pool first. And then you have like, you know, right. 20, half, like to 30 minutes to kind of get changed, go to the washroom, anything you need like that. And then you'll make your way over to the presentation that is going to roughly be about 45 minutes in length. Right. So that's right. the only day that we require a, a little bit longer. But yeah. We're only running the program once that week. So because okay. we're doing both, we tried to make it a little bit easier instead of ping-ponging back and forth. Sure, um, sure. So it's a little bit longer, but it's still about the same time. So we're asking about two hours per week. Sure. Yeah. Uh, the, my other question is that uh, <laughs> getting, getting the information to me and me being able to respond uh, with, uh, with my... Um, 
what weaknesses in computer operation. Okay. <laughs> I'm ho hoping that I get Gosh, the, is, you know get the right blanks and get it sent in. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. So I mean, okay. do you, like we are trying to do first come first serve, but if you are having difficulties, just let us know. Um, I think in the presentation or everyone should, because we've been communicating when you first signed up with your email, it's the same email, like the admin at trenthelpandmotion.ca, that's yeah. us, or feel free to give us a call. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Oh, Paul, you raised your yeah. hand. I love that. I didn't even know that was a feature. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kate. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? Good, good. Good. Um, I think the program sounds great. Very exciting. And um, so on the first day, we just go to the uh, Trent Physiotherapy. Is that where we meet for the first session? Beautiful question. Thank you so much, Paul. So for the first session, and we're going to be sending out like a diagram to kind of help show where we're going to be wanting you guys to come. But on the first day, Paul, we're going to be asking everyone to come to the, the um, event space at the student center. So if we're thinking about if anyone knows Trent at all, um, when you're coming off Nassau Mills Road, there are three buildings that you'll see along the road on the right hand side. So the first one, you don't want that one. The second one is the athletic center. That's where we're going to be doing any hydrotherapy time will be in the athletic center. That's where Trent Health and Motion in, is as well. But then you're gonna go one building over and that's the student center. I will put flyers if I can. I will put arrows saying like, oh, this way. And we're gonna be on, it's on the first floor and it's the event space. So if you see any signs in the student center that say event space, if you're in the building with the Starbucks, you have found the right spot. That's where we're going. <laughs> Um, and for that first time, yeah, maybe grab a coffee after too. Sounds um, great. Um, no donut. Or donut. Ooh, no, I like I, no donuts. <laughs> oh, no donuts. Oh, Carol, I, I might get a donut. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's where we're going to kind of all meet each other for the first time. And we're going to go through, like I said, it's going to be basically, we're going to take heart rate, blood pressure, we want to look at grip strength as well. So grip strength is really important to look at for anytime you're carrying groceries, anytime you're lifting anything. And it's a big contributor to fall prevention, actually. Believe it or not, like if you can hold stuff in your hands and keep that grip, you're less likely if you're carrying great groceries to have that fall or anything like that because your arms, they, they can fatigue. So anyways, we're going to look at that. We're going to look at lower limb endurance as well. So I want to connect it to balance and gait because again, those are big contributing factors for fall prevention. So that's what we're going to look like at the, the first assessment. That was a really winded way to say, yes, we're going to the student center for the first time. <laughs> that was quite winded. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> hey, yes, yes. Hi. Okay. Marilyn, I see you with great wait. I was wondering, do you form your group A, group B after the assessment? No, actually. So it's going to be based on once we send out the intake form, you're going to see it's going to be kind of broken down. Like once you follow the link, you're going to put your name. It's going to ask you some, some questions about your eligibility for the program. And then it's going to see about your commitment to it. So which program would work best for you? So like schedule A, all the dates are the exact same for both schedules, but it's like if you want a little bit earlier versus later, that's what we're going to kind of see which one works best for you. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of, yeah, yeah. Um, and I see two more Thank hands you. risen here. I can't see. Can someone, sorry, it, it disappeared. Who raised their hand? Um, oh, Joanna, hi, yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm just wondering, I'm curious as to how, no, how, how many people have shown an interest. How many people are we competing with? <laughs> Good question. Yeah, there are, it's both wonderful and going to be an awful way to decide, but like we, we do have 50 people interested. Oh, wow. For 20. Wow. Um, right. But I'm happy that you guys have, for those who are going to be, who weren't able to make the meeting, the intake form is still going to get sent out to them. You guys have a little bit of a drop on them because you know that it's going to be coming in the next like hour or two. We just have to wait for Zoom to basically compile our recording because we're going to be sending this along with the intake form. 
So you guys have a little bit of a drop here. Um, in the next hour or two, we will be sending out an email. So making sure that you're kind of checking your inbox and um, junk mail just in case. Hopefully we're not going to junk mail, but you never know. <laughs> yeah, sorry if that answers your question there, Vicki. But I think yes, I thank so you. Perfect. I saw Joanna. Yes, yes. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, I, I'm just wondering, would it be as early as the fall that you would be doing it again? I'm moving during these next sort of the month or so, and it would be rather awkward for me, but I really want to do this. Great. Course. I, I wish we could be up and running by the fall. Um, it's both fantastic and, and, and not great, but we are running by funding right now. Um, so we have the funding for the summer. We are hoping, like we have continuing to apply for this and hopefully again next year as well, but we are applying to different grants too, because I think this is, I, I think we've kind of tapped into a big gap in the resources. So I think that this is, and I think the government is realizing that as well. So we are hoping to get this program up and running. It probably wouldn't be the fall, but maybe early next year. Um, yeah. So, and the other thing is, um, how much walking around is it? Like, I have a bit of mobility. I use a cane sometimes or a walker occasionally. Okay. Is it, if it's a lot of distance, should I bring a walker or? So, for that, great question, too. So, for walking, the longest part that you'd have to walk is to the, um, sorry, to the student center because you would still park in our parking lot. So actually that is something I didn't mention. Yeah, that that's what my question. <laughs> we are gonna be covering your, everyone's gonna be sending us their license plates. We're gonna be covering parking for you guys. Um, so not to worry about that. So when you are here on campus, once once we get your license plate, we send it off to them and they are, they'll take care of it. Um, so the thing is though, you have to park in either the parking lot. So I don't know if anyone's been to Trent Health Emotion before, it's either the small parking lot right out front of the athletic center or the one that's across from the big stadium, like the one behind the big stadium. So those are the parking lots that we have available. So it is a little bit of a walk to the student center, but it's flat. There's no stairs, there's no nothing. So to your best ability for your mobility, hey, maybe we start with a walker, but by the time you finish, you don't need one. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Um, is it possible to send? Oh, okay. Sorry. That's okay. Yes, Vicki, I can let me, I'm going to take down that. Sorry. Thank you. I'm with my mom and she's staying with me for the week. Okay. But if, if you can send it to us, I'll help her with it. Thank you. That is, I really appreciate that for it. Let me just okay. click now. I will add that to you for Vicki. Okay, got it. Oh, um, any other more questions? I can't see any of the raised hands anymore. It was such a cool feature and now I don't know what I did. Why can't I see it? So if anyone has any more questions, they can just um, just start talking, unmute yourself and- Okay, I have a question. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, um, I, I really would like to take the program for sure as, a, as I've, uh, some of the other participants are saying, but- um, I have a wedding that's July 7th to the 11th. So it would be the two sessions and uh, um, is it still available or should I wait for the next uh, next uh, program? You know what, Deborah? I say emails anyways. Um, we are looking for people who can commit to the whole program because what, what we're trying to see here is like this kind of I don't want to say intense, but I'm just saying like we're meeting two times a week for six weeks. It is quite extensive, right? So mm -hmm. what we're hoping to see is if we can kind of, if this preventative care earlier on can help with not only falls, but to avoid long-term care facilities. Mm -hmm. So not only will that kind of alleviate some of the stress for the government there, but if people can live in their homes longer, that is, that's fantastic. If we can avoid injuries and stuff. So that's what we're kind of looking at. So that's why we're going to be taking like the initial and the final and getting a whole bunch of fun email and questionnaires sent to you guys. You're going to have, it's going to be great. Um, but yeah, we are hoping for people to be able to commit to the whole program, but still I would say respond to the email regardless. Okay. Yeah. Happy to make up the, uh, yeah. you know, the, yeah. the sessions. Your homework. <laughs>
<laughs> and we are trying to, like I said, that this is not, we have been trying to make this happen, especially over the last, like, oh, oh God, we all know, right? Two and a half years, we have been distant. Like ideally this would have been in person, not over Zoom. Um, but yeah, we're taking different precautions into place too. And we really have identified that this, I mean, exercise and just the whole component of wellness into it as well, it is beneficial. We know that it's beneficial, but we're just trying to prove it to the government that <laughs> kept doing these programs, which sounds awful. <laughs> but yeah. Um, can I ask a question? Um, can, are you wanting us to be wearing masks? Because I've been at your facility very recently and everybody was wearing a mask. So yeah. I'm just so, checking. Love that. Fantastic question. So when we're in the clinic, we wear masks unless I'm like, I'm in my own room right now, so I don't have to. Um, but when we're outside, like just the university has changed its policy. You don't need to wear masks. Okay. I probably will just going in and out of the building. But once we're in our room, I will be distancing, distancing us out. Jeepers. Um, so you can remove your mask when we're exercising. That is completely okay. And when we're in the pool, so I don't know if anyone's ever been in the hydrotherapy pool. It's lovely. It's heated. It's my favorite, but I will wear a visor and you guys don't have to wear a mask. So we are still trying to be cautious here. Um, and we are sanitizing. So once we use the, the weight, that's what I was just saying. If you are able to, to wipe down, that's fantastic. If not, don't worry. Um, but yeah, we are still just wanting to make sure that we're doing this safe. Um, okay. Yeah, you don't have to wear while we're exercising. If you want to wear it when you're in the like the athletic center or if you're in the student center, you can not mandatory. It's only when we're in track health and motion okay. that we wear masks. Okay. okay. Good. Yeah, to your own to your own discretion. Um, but yeah, we will remove our masks when we're exercising. Yeah. Is there any okay. other questions? I'm just kind of like moving through here to see if anyone has like a hand up or anything. Um, no? Okay, well, if everyone doesn't have any more questions, if you do think of one later, no worries, just send me an email or you can give us a call too. Um, yeah, so this is, this is what we're really hoping to do. I hope you guys are excited or as excited as I am. Um, yeah, and I just, again, I'm gonna reiterate here. So we will be sending the intake form 